six rounds of boxing, cruiserweights. Ready for this six round fight between Rich Jingris of Attleboro, Mass, which is just right over the border here in Rhode Island. 11 and two, seven knockouts. He's 31 years old. His opponent across the ring, Terrence Smith Jr., 7, 13 and two, and four knockouts from Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, coming all the way from down Oklahoma to spoil Rich Jingris' debut here with Classic Entertainment and Sports. A lot of action early on here. Hank, Rich Jingris, a former contender reality show star, suffered two losses after being on the reality show, now finally getting back into boxing. We'll see what he's made of here, fighting a tough opponent like Terrence Smith. Yeah, well, you know, Terrence Smith, he kind of fired up watching Oklahoma City playing basketball, you know. He damn put the Lakers out, so I guess he's trying to put this fire out right here. <laughs> That's right, as soon as I realized he was from Oklahoma City, being a Celtics fan, I didn't really want to go spark up a conversation with him about <laughs> basketball, especially after the loss the other night. Rich Jingris started his career 7-0 with five knockouts. Hank got an offer to fight in Singapore and the Cruiserweight reality show series. He lost. He was invited back for the finale show. He lost again and took a little time off of boxing. He didn't like being thrown around as the opponent. And he had a comeback win against Adam Harris. And right now, he's up on the ropes. And Terrence Smith really oh, man. the pace of this. Yes, he's, he's looking real good. Punches looking nice and sharp, nice and crisp. And you know, he, he's just looking good and he's working, man. He, he ain't trying to leave without a W. But one thing for sure, Rich need to get off the rope, off the ropes. Because this guy's doing damage, a lot of damage on the rope. He's just a sitting duck right there. Get off the rope. It's a long fight too, Hank, and you certainly don't want to get caught on the ropes and take punches like that in only the first round of a scheduled six. Exactly, yes. That's one thing I learned, man. The ropes are not your friend. Oh, Rich, he just turned it around with a, a nice hard shot upstairs. Oh, he's about to go now. <laughs> now this fight turned into a fight. I guess he had to wave some of that ring rust off. Now we see Rich on attack. Rich Jingris from Attleboro, Mass. Mentioned it's right over the border here in Rhode Island. Oh, nice uppercut by Terrence. He runs the Fight to Fitness gym in Pawtucket. He has over 230 clients, and certainly this is a very pro Jingris crowd. And Terrence coming up here to spoil his homecoming. Here we go. Now we're starting to work a little bit. Oh! Terrence with a nice right hand. They working in there, they fighting. This is the type of fight that everybody like to see. But I'll tell you one thing that I'm noticing right away. Rich have a beard. He getting hit with some heavy shots in there. Terrence is unloading on Rich, but Rich is right there. Good first round, excellent first round. Yeah, the first round, Hank, started off a, a little lackluster with Jingris on the rope, but man, he certainly picked that up once he realized he started to have to come off the ropes and defend himself. It looked like Jingris may have Oh, it looked like he was bleeding a little bit from under his nose, and now it was all over Terrence's back. Not sure exactly where it came from. I don't think either fighter's too hurt, but that was a great way to finish the first round. We really could be in, in store for a treat here if this is a sixth round fight. Yes, yes. A lot of action in the first round. A lot of action in the first round. Both guys threw a, a variety of punches in the first round. I want to see how they come out in the second round. See who's really in shape for this fight. Now, one thing to, to know, Hank, a record like 7 13 and 2, not a very wild record, but it does show that he has a lot of fights. He fought 22 times as a professional, and he has nothing to lose here against Jingris. If he comes here into Twin River and he loses, you know what? Then he's 7 and 14. But exactly. he could come in here and really spoil this. So he can let it all hang on the line. But Jingus may have to be a little more conservative and not open up for a punch. Oh, it looks like he's coming out here firing anyway. Yeah. But, like, I'm going to tell you like this. You know, some of these fighters, they have a jacked up football record. That's what I call them. <laughs> but you can't go by the record sometimes because sometimes they could have took them fights and actually won the fights. And was in somebody hometown and get the fair shake. It happens in the sport. But sometimes you can't go by the, um, the man record. It's the man that beat you at the end of the day. Good uppercut by Terrence. And I tell you, if it's a man that beat you at the end of the day, these two are standing man to man right now. And 
slugfest to end the first round, and it looks like Jingers and Smith are going to continue it here in the second round. Both of these guys, you can tell they heavy punches. They got some, some crack with them. <laughs> oh, good, good hook. Rich Cordy with a nice, good, clean hook. Jingers with seven knockouts and 11 victories, so more often than not, if his hands raise, it's because of knockout. Yes, sir. <laughs> That's what Rich needs to be doing, is going to that body, take, take the wheels from underneath him, and then go upstairs with the big heavy shots. Jigris standing at 5'10". Giving up an inch and a half here to Terrence Smith, although this fight is taking place pretty close. Good, nice uppercut on the inside. The thing I noticed, Hank, about Terrence Smith is he has a really quick uppercut. And that's a, something where Jingles gets caught on the ropes. Certainly look for him to take advantage of how quick his uppercut can be unleashed. Yeah, but you know, I, I, I see Terrence is kind of making this fight hard where his best assets is, to me, is outside boxing. He has the hand speed and he can crack. But you know, this is um, sort of Rich's fight right there on the inside. I think he probably could set him up with something if he just stay on the outside. But, um, Terrence is showing us that he's a good inside fighter at that. And good combinations. Uh, Terrence is just trying to unleash from the ropes. Yes, he's working. And Jingris, I think, looked at the, the ref to call a stop for maybe a low blow or a illegal hit, and Terrence really just took advantage of that. And that's something that you can never do. You can never look at the ref. Good right hand by Rich. Like that. Yeah, we almost caught up Ortiz and Floyd Mayweather right there. <laughs> but prior to that, Rich landed a good sweeping right hand that caught Terrence. But I tell you what, both of these guys are coming here and they fighting and they putting on a, a good show. We can see Rich's arm um, cut, but he's fighting through it. He's bringing the fight. Rich Jingris won by seventh round knockout back in 2009. Took over two and a half years off. Made his return in March and knocked out 10 and 4 Adam Harris in the second round. Here we see he's going to enter the third round, so certainly the most he's worked in over four years as a professional boxer. Again, he opened up a gym in Pawtucket called Fight to Fitness. He has over 230 clients, so certainly has to be a big juggling act to be able to control all those clients, run a business, and fight professionally. Yeah, he's fighting a heck of a fight, and so is it Terrence Smith. This has been a great match. Yeah, two tough fighters. And both fighters came here to fight it. We've seen a few fights like this tonight, Hank, where it's just been tremendous matchups. And you got fighters who are both knockout punchers like you had with you know, Thomas Fallowo and, and his Folks, opponent. Then he saw two tough, to mean-spirited fighters like Bobo and Paul Gonzalez. Right here with Jingles and Smith, you see some guys, and they're just throwing bombs, and they're just going to try to knock each other out. They're going inside, they're going on the ropes. This fight, I don't know, this is the third round. It'll be interesting to see if it goes six. Yes, yes, both of these guys, man, they're they bringing it on. they ready. <laughs> And I'll tell you, Hank, the, I think the fight just got stopped due to the cut on Jingris. Terrence Smith comes in here and spoils the homecoming for Rich Jingris. And congrats to Smith for winning the fight, but that's a shame. That was a great fight. That I would have liked to see that right go there. another round. Yes, sir. <laughs> Rich Jingris now 11-3 as a pro. Terrence Smith 8-13-2. And, and that's what I alluded to, Hank, with for Jingris. He obviously has a lot more to lose than Terrence Smith. He can come in here and just let it all hang. If he loses, if he gets caught, then you know what? It's his 14th pro loss. He went out there and let it all hang. He fought it close. He fought it, kept the distance, put on the ropes. He fought a good fight today against Rich Jingers, and it shows by the way he was able to open up the cut. Yes, yes, good. it was a good fight, good fight, man. Like, I thought his best assets were staying outside in boxing, but he also had a nice inside game. See the doctors doing some work here on Jingris, trying to stop the bleeding, and that's unfortunate because I'm pretty sure Hank that Jingris wanted to keep fighting. He would have fought probably harder than he fought the last two rounds. Yes, yes. Well, you can see as the fight, he had a little ring rust, but as the fight was going on, he started picking the fight. He started picking up everything. But you know, like I said once again, um, sitting on that rope, 
you in you in a danger zone right there. Even I learned from that, you know, nobody wants to be on the rope, stay in the middle of the ring and work. Here we go to Bill Carpenter in the ring for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, at the conclusion of two rounds of boxing, referee Eddie Claudio calls a halt to the bout based upon the advice of the ringside physician that the blue corner fighter is unable to continue due to injury, your winner by TKO, Terrence Smith, Jr.